Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's really good to be with you. I'm Graham Moore, and I'm with my two very good, close colleagues, Phoebe Francis and Mohammed Shukri, and we are Leadership Challenge Middle East. And I want to just say that we have a we, we have a question today that we're going to discuss. And it's fundamental, really, to the program that we are presenting, that is leadership. And as you're listening to us, I want you to think about what your view is about what we're talking about, and we'd love to have your input into this, as indeed every week that we do something like this, every week it'll be 10 minutes, and we'd love to have your input as well along the way. Okay, so the question today is, how do you define leadership? How do you define leader? How do you define a leader? Now, don't say, gentlemen, a leader is one who leads. Come on, don't be that simple. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how? Let me let me ask Phoebe. How would you define a leader? Yeah, th thank you, Graham, and uh, nice to be with all of you. For me, I see leadership as a set of behaviors which are displayed by all of us at various points of time. And it is applicable to each and every one of us. And it yeah, is also depending on the context. Yeah, but how, but how do you define leader? That's leadership. How do you define a leader? Yeah, a leader is someone who tries to solve challenges which we come across in our daily life, uplifting people, developing them, and taking care of the needs of the people with whom he or she is with. And it can be a, a person who may be silently helping people in an organization, and it can be people who are taking bigger and uh, heavier tasks. And it again, what what we see most of the time is how can we take the team and the people together towards that goal which we are trying to achieve. Thank you, Graham. So that is uh, something which I want to highlight at this point. And it is more of the behaviors which we see, which drives and motivates and engages everyone in that process. Yeah, but okay, here's a side issue. Someone might say, oh, he's a leader or she's a leader or that child is a leader. But that child hasn't done those things that, that you've listed that the leader should be doing. So is it you got to do all of those before you're a leader or can you do one or two or hmm, think about it, we'll come back to you. Mohammed, how do you define a leader? I'll just, uh, I just want to take it from where Phoebe uh, stopped there because, yes, it's a number of practices that shows the leadership in, in you, whether you know it, knew it or not. Because, Graham, there are leaders that we all agree and name them as leaders. This is common, but there are the biggest spectrum is leaders that are leaders, but we don't call them leaders, unfortunately. I mean, not in the uh, formal context, neither do they. That's why I came across um, a definition, a quote, which to me is the, you know, the broader definition that encompasses all leaders. At the end of the day, leaders are connected to others. I mean, they do what engineers do, they do what um, mothers do, everyone. But when it comes to others, this divines the leader. So that the quote is by John Quincy Adams. Uh, he said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, do more, learn more, and become more, you are a leader. Look at this. Wow. Just by your actions, as Phoebe said, the behaviors that you do, that you show, your actions inspire others to do more. You are a leader. By these definitions, you can look around and almost everyone is a leader. Over to you. Yeah, well, we know that leadership is everyone's business. Leadership is. But when we say, is this person a leader? And, you know, we, we then get into the idea of good leader, bad leader. Well, that's a whole other discussion, I'm sure. But we, we could say it as simply as a leader is someone who has followers, right? Is that is that a valid statement? Leader is someone who has followers? 
It could be, yeah, whether he knows it or not. Could be. Whether he knows it or not, that's really good. Um, because people will be often wanting to follow. So what would the th person be doing that might have people following? They should have uh, some of the behaviours that Phoebe mentioned, but a leader also is the one who creates the vision, and that's where we're going. Is a leader well, someone who wants maybe... to inspire? Phoebe. Yeah, so that is something which, yeah, Graham, something which uh, uh, I, I want to share at this point is about uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi from an Indian context, you know, and, and also, uh, you know, from his simple actions of uh, role modeling and uh, trying actions according to the values and making sure that he's not saying that I will give you anything, but he was able to take the uh, group of people to to his vision of uh, and again in a non-violent way in a very 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 simple way and people are following him in that process to make it a bigger initiative to drive into independence or freedom struggle uh, what we call in the Indian context so you know sometimes yeah a, a, a person who is uh, relatively not known to anyone come to that role of taking initiative and again practicing those values and people see that values in practice and role modeling in that process and there comes the followers yeah Muhammad, uh, Muhammad how do you say to that well um, it triggered me when you said followers or not and the very modern uh, term of followers is available on my uh, you know, uh, social media platforms. When we uh, look at a, a blogger and an influencer, and there's a reason they called him or her influ social media influencer. And we look at the number of followers. I know the followers doesn't mean, you know, exact followers following steps, but yeah, in a, in a, in a large larger meaning, they have followers who follow their behaviors. They uh, follow uh, even the restaurant that they suggested, you know, uh, we believe in them because of their influence. So uh, I, I'd like you to help us here uh, also, Graham, on the context of me real meaning of followers and leaders here. We'd like to hear it from you also. Oh, okay. Well, let me pick up on what you said, using the current vernacular and the words that we use, that is an influencer, someone on social media who has three and a half thousand followers or 250,000 followers. So are they a leader? Eh, probably they are in the field that they're dealing with. But you've just used an interesting word. You said they are influencers, influencers. So therefore, I ask you this question. Is a leader someone who influences others? Well, uh, I, I remember... Uh, several cases doing, uh, you know, training, right? And when the company wants to, me to do training for the shop floor um, workers or the staff, the employees, to change a behavior or a set of behaviors, that is training, you know? When I do my research yeah. and my needs analysis, I discover that I tell them, wait, the, these people have team leaders. These people have supervisors. And why don't we work after, of course, looking at the 360 degree uh, of the issue, I think, I tell them, I think, gentlemen, we need to work on the leaders of those groups. Because if we um, influence the influencers, we might do a better job. At the end of the day, uh, let's look according also to uh, the book, The Leadership Challenge, uh, who spends the most time and who has the most space with the next person. Maybe maybe you spend more time with your teacher than your CEO. Maybe you spend more time than the foreman than your manager. So instead of confining leadership to the top people who do not directly affect the workforce, why don't we work on those who directly influence uh, the subject that we want to train? I know this is damaging my uh, paycheck, because I will uh, train only five instead of 50. But, but let us be true to this. 
Why don't yeah. we work on those who influence others and others follow them because they are sticking to them all the time? Uh, here's, here's a little insight. I've said for many years that as a father, I never told my children what to do. I influenced them. And wow. I kind of think in retrospect now that that's what leaders should be doing. Who tells people what to do? There's the word. Who tells people what to do? They are the boss. Huh? That's what the boss does. The boss tells you what to do. I yeah, think that yeah. the leader influences. The leader has a vision. The leader wants to make a difference. The leader has an understanding of purpose. And people rally around that because they want to be part of that purpose. They want to be part of that vision. They know that they will learn and benefit and achieve together with the leader. And the leader could be the foreman or the, the person that you refer, referred to earlier. It certainly doesn't have to be the managing director, although it should be as well. So I love this idea of what is a leader. And we should also be talking about the other favourite topic that goes so close to that is what is leadership? So maybe we'll do that next week. Shall we do that? Absolutely. Of course, yes. And maybe I, I, I just want to... Sure. Yeah, I just thought of just adding one more point. You know, I, I, I had a leader in my workplace who always asked, is there, Phoebe, is there something which I have to do? Please let me know. And if there is yeah. any idea, do that. I'm here to support you. Take it forward. Yeah. And that's what that's a really good point to finish on. Leaders are here to support us and encourage us and to get the best out of us, right? That's what leaders do. Of course, yeah. And, and I know of, of, of situations where leaders might ask for something to be done and then say, what do you need from me to help you make that happen? That's the mm. sort of language that leaders use. I hope that those who are watching us think about what we're talking about and have other ideas, are happy to listen to other ideas about what is a leader. How do you define a leader? <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much. We will be back together again for a short discussion on our favourite topic, leadership. <laughs>